It took 14 long years of waiting, but Incredibles 2 is finally here. This movie is once again directed by Brad Bird, and it literally takes place right after the events of the original. We see the Underminer wreaking havoc on the city, and the Incredibles show up to stop him, but in the process, they cause a lot of damage. And this creates a lot of bad publicity for superheroes in the public eye, forcing the Parr family to go into hiding. And then a character voiced by Bob Odenkirk comes to Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl with a mission to make superheroes popular again. So he sends Elastigirl on a mission to save the world, and then Mr. Incredible is left at home to take care of the kids, Violet, Dash, and Jack-Jack. I think we can all agree that The Incredibles is easily one of the best Pixar movies of all time, and it's also one of the best superhero movies of all time. That movie has such an interesting concept and executed it so well. It has great characters, a beautiful story, and it's just another really well-directed movie by Brad Bird. The guy really knows how to make an entertaining movie that appeals to all different ages. Ever since Avengers Infinity War came out, this has probably been my most anticipated movie of the year. I was just so interested to see what they were going to do in the sequel given that this movie's taken 14 years to come out. And somehow, they pulled it off. This movie completely lives up to the hype. Incredibles 2 is a total blast from start to finish. One of my favorite things about this film is that it's a really entertaining movie and it has amazing action sequences, but it also kept all the heart that the first one had. We get to see Elastigirl and Mr. Incredible kind of reverse their roles from the first movie, where he's at home taking care of the kids and she's out saving the world. And I didn't know if I was totally into that at first, but I really loved that part of the story. Because we got to see Mr. Incredible just trying to be a good dad. We see him helping Dash trying to do his math homework, and Violet trying to deal with these troubles that she's having with a boy at school. And I thought that was a really touching thing to focus on, and it's something that a lot of people can relate to. Because there's some scenes in this movie with him and his kids that reminded me of real life experiences that I've had. Since Elastigirl gets to do the superhero kind of stuff while Bob's watching the kids at home, she has some of the best action sequences in this movie. In particular, one involving this train that I thought was magnificent. It was really well directed and amazing to look at, along with the rest of this movie. Brad Bird clearly knows how to make a nice, gorgeous looking movie, whether it be live action like with Mission Impossible 4, or with this movie because this movie has such amazing looking color palettes and beautiful cinematography. And I could talk about the animation all day. I actually went to a double feature for this movie where I saw the first one in the theater followed by the second one. And the jump in graphics is insane. Even though I think the first Incredibles is a really nice looking film, I've always thought the graphics look kind of dated for it. And going into the second one right after the first one, I almost had to adjust for a second because it looks so good that it's almost like it's part of a different franchise or something. There's some scenes in this movie where the shot is close up on some of these characters' faces, and in my head I was just thinking, that is real human hair. Jack-Jack was another one of my favorite things about this movie because all the Incredibles are trying to figure out how to deal with his new powers and they're just discovering them for the first time. He pretty much steals every scene he's in and my entire theater was cracking up during a lot of those parts. And there's one scene involving a raccoon that I'm not going to spoil, but it was amazing. I loved what they did with this character in this movie. And this movie is also very funny. It's so clever. They really know how to balance out all the jokes with the rest of the film. And it never felt forced, which was awesome to me. I also really like the score by Michael Giacchino. The first Incredibles movie has one of my favorite movie soundtracks of all time. It's so fun and jazzy and fast-paced. And they continue that trend with this movie. The music really elevates some of the action sequences. And it just adds another layer in how entertaining this film is and how much fun it is to watch. I do have one issue with this movie, and that's the villain. I just thought the villain presence of this movie was just fine. I didn't love it or hate it. I just thought it could have been a lot better than it actually was. In the first movie, we had Syndrome, and he was such a great villain because his motivations completely made sense, but he was also one of those villains that you kind of love to hate. In this movie, yeah, their motivations make sense, but I just didn't really grab them as a character. And it kind of felt predictable, because towards the middle of the movie, I pretty much figured out what was getting ready to happen. But all in all, Incredibles 2 is a fantastic movie, thanks to Brad Bird's direction. It's super entertaining, it has amazing action sequences, it's a gorgeous and sleek looking movie, and those qualities I don't think we really get in a lot of animated films nowadays, but Brad Bird really knows how to deliver on that aspect. And the best thing about this movie, in my opinion, is that it kept the heart and the emotion that the original movie had. It's a film about parenting and making the right choices for your kids. Seeing Mr. Incredible trying to do right by his kids and Elastigirl going out and trying to save the world was such an awesome thing to focus on and I'm so glad this movie did what it did. It doesn't feel like it really breaks any new ground for the Incredibles franchise or anything, but it just continues what you loved about the first one, and that's all I wanted to see. Minus the villain, I pretty much loved everything about Incredibles 2. I can't wait to see it again, and I think it's one of the best Pixar sequels that they've ever done. I'm gonna give Incredibles 2 a 9 out of 10. Definitely check this movie out in theaters if you can, because it's probably one of my favorite movies of the year right now, and it's such a great family movie, I can almost guarantee that you're gonna have a great time with it. 
So guys, those are my thoughts on Incredibles 2. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Also be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.